Welcome to your daily devotional reading from the book My Life Today. Month of November, a victorious life. November 15th, Christ's victory as complete as Adam's failure. Those who have conquered. For as by one man's disobedience many were made sinners, so by the obedience of one shall many be made righteous. Romans 5 verse 19 Christ is called the second Adam. In purity and holiness, connected with God and beloved by God, he began where the first Adam began. Willingly, he passed over the ground where Adam fell and redeemed Adam's failure. But the first Adam was in every way more favorably situated than was Christ. The wonderful provision made for men in Eden was made by a God who loved him. Everything in nature was pure and undefiled, not a shadow interposed between them and their Creator. They knew God as their beneficent Father and in all things their will was conformed to the will of God. But Satan came to the dwellers in Eden and insinuated doubts of God's wisdom. He accused him, the Heavenly Father and Sovereign, of selfishness because, to test their loyalty, he had prohibited them from eating of the tree of knowledge. Christ was tempted by Satan in a hundredfold severer manner than was Adam and under circumstances in every way more trying. The deceiver presented himself as an angel of light, but Christ withstood his temptations. He redeemed Adam's disgraceful fall and saved the world. In his human nature, he maintained the purity of his divine character. He lived the law of God and honored it in a world of transgression, revealing to the heavenly universe, to Satan, and to all the fallen sons and daughters of Adam, that through his grace, humanity can keep the law of God. He came to impart his own divine nature, his own image, to the repentant, Believing so, Christ's victory was as complete as had been Adam's failure. So we may resist temptation and force Satan to depart from us. A Victorious Life, November 15th